Buyers of the US dollar closed the previous week in a gloomy mood. The greenback was losing value amid inflation slackening, and the Federal Reserve will hardly remain stuck to its plan to raise the key rate two more times this year. The more time passes from the inflation figures release, the more traders will accept the new reality, thus getting ready for new information. Early next week, traders will get a bulk of important macroeconomic information. First of all, all eyes will be turned to the Chinese GDP data for the second quarter of 2023. According to the forecast, the economy may start rapidly rising, thus it may expand by 7.3%, which is considerably higher compared to the first quarter. Curiously, in the first quarter, the economy showed the most significant growth since the same quarter of 2022. Thus, the news may boost market optimism from the very beginning of the week. In this light, traders are likely to become interested in the risk assets. It means that the Australian dollar, which is the main indicator of a risk sentiment in the Asia-Pacific region, and the currency of China's supplier of raw materials, and uh, it will also gain in value. The Chinese GDP growth may also give traders hope that the global economy is able to avoid recession and start recovering despite an economic slump in Europe. Notably, the US economy is also on the verge of a contraction. On Tuesday, traders will learn data about retail sales growth in the United States. For your reference, more than two-thirds of the US GDP is made up of a consumer spending. The expected data may show that although consumption is above the zero level, it's still not far from it. A bit later, traders will shift their attention to inflation in Canada. There, the central bank decided to raise the Q rate, fearing that inflation may stagnate at the current level. Against the backdrop, consumer price growth may slacken to 3%. However, traders should take into account that prices jumped by 3% from the level we saw last year, when the whole world was shocked by surging inflation. Western countries prefer to blame Russia for such a situation. They believe that energy prices soared and meet the special military operation in Ukraine However, there are events preceding the conflict in Ukraine. Thus, during the pandemic, central banks were printing money to boost inflation. Curiously, the local authorities forgot about this fact just after inflation started to skyrocket. And now it's quite reasonable to raise the key interest rate more to slacken the price growth. The Bank of England is also actively raising the benchmark rate. However, the UK economy is causing more concerns compared to the situation in Canada. In June 2022, inflation in the United Kingdom reached 8.1%, and this year inflation in June is expected to ease to another 8.2%. In other words, the Bank of England will have to work hard to correct the mistakes it made during the pandemic. The pound sterling is likely to get in value, as it's obvious that the key rates in the United Kingdom will soon exceed the ones in the United States. How we're going to be in the short term, we will definitely tell you in our regular uh, information release. Subscribe to our channel and follow news with us. And see you soon!